Welcome to this session. My name is Diego Quispe. I'm an innovation architect at Dynatrix. In this session, you will learn how to call the Site Reliability Guardian from GitHub. To integrate GitHub with the new Site Reliability Guardian, we will be using the Dynatrix Automation CLI inside a Docker container. This tool will allow you to trigger the Site Reliability Guardian from your pipeline using Dynatrix workflows. Before we get started, the prerequisites for this integration are the new Dynatrace OAuth credential with the following scope Storage Events Read, Storage Events Write, VC Events Read, VC Events Write, and Buckets Read. You can learn more about the process of generating a new OAuth client in the official Dynatrace account management documentation. A second prerequisite is to already have created a site reliability guardian inside Dynatrace. The final prerequisite is to have a Dynatrace workflow with the Site Reliability Guardian task already added and configured to be triggered based on a VC event that will contain a tag.service and tag.stage values, as you see in the example. For this demo, I have already created a Guardian called CPU Usage, and this Guardian already validates correctly the average CPU consumption for the system. I have also created the workflow with the event trigger tag.service equals demo and tag.stage equals dev. And I have also added the guardian task, CPU usage, and I'm waiting for the expression time from and time to that is going to be provided by the Dynatrace Automation CLI from the pipeline. Calling the site reliability guardian from GitHub using the Dynatrace Automation CLI. The first step is to navigate into the Dynatrace Automation tools in GitHub and search for example pipelines GitHub. And you will find this file github.yaml, which is a fully working pipeline that has two different steps. You can copy everything as a raw file and paste it in a new repo. I have already done that. So I have the repo here. I have created a folder .github and inside that a folder called workflows and I place the demo.yaml in that folder. I have two different jobs. The first one is test. This is going to set the start time and the end time for the evaluation as variables. And the second job is the evaluation itself, which is using a container, the Dynatrace DT automation in the latest version. And then it's consuming all the secrets for the account URN the secret, the client ID, and the SSO URL. And for the service name, this is service demo, and the stage is dev. And this is collecting the information from the previous job for the start time and the end time of the evaluation. You have two different ways to trigger this workflow. The first one is a manual way, and the second one is whenever you push a new change. So with that, I can go ahead and run it. And once I run it, I will get some results in here. The first job test is going to set the start time and the end time for the evaluation. The second job is going to run the evaluation itself, send the VC event, trigger the Dynatrace workflow, and it's going to wait for the response. If everything is good, you will get a passing value here. And on the other side, on the Dynatrace, you will check that the workflow has been triggered and the Guardian has been executed. As you see, everything is green here. This has been executed correctly.